Hey guys, this is AC Service Tech, and today what we're going over is the troubleshooting of an ECM 3.0. So this is a variable speed blower motor. We're going over the troubleshooting without the TechMate Pro. So the TechMate Pro makes it very easy uh, in order to determine if the variable speed blower motor will work or if it's not going to work. So in this case, we actually have the blower motor is actually in the squirrel cage right back here. And this is what the terminals look like right here. So you have your high voltage that's powered all the time. And then you have your signal wires for telling the blower motor to turn on whatever speed it needs to turn on. So the control board, uh, in this case, since this is a ECM 3.0, talks to the motor with DC millivolts. So this is the, uh, the plug right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect that, that connection back there. We're going to turn it on with the TechMate Pro. Uh, and then I'm going to also show you how to do it without this. So right here, this, this is the connection. And if you compare this connection to this connection, so those look just the same. And you notice that only two wires are actually powering with 24 volts. So even though this control board right here sends DC millivolts to the blower motor in order to tell it uh, what speed to turn on, you can actually bypass that by basically just looking to see which wires need to be powered. So in this case it's green and blue and that's going to be the 24 volt signal that we need to send to that blower motor in order to have it turn on. Now the other thing is I want to mention on this TechMate Pro you are just connecting these two wires onto the control board and it says 24 volts. It doesn't even tell you you know if you need to put this one on the hot and this one on the common. So really I'm going to tell you it actually does not matter. As long as you get 24 volts onto, in this case, it happens to be the blue and green wires, but you should not go by colors. So these two wires on the TechMate Pro are connecting here and here. And if you notice, when I plug this in, I'm connecting it to the front too, right here. If this is upside down, you know, with this connection down lower, then it will be the back two. But the reality is what you need to do is verify what this says. It says C and RX. So presently we have our connection from the board disconnected to the variable speed blower motor. We have the 120 volt power wire, which would be the ones connected right here. That's still connected onto the blower motor. So we have the TechMate Pro plugged into the, the, the second set of pins, which is the four pins. We have one connection on common, one connection on 24 volt hot. And now we're going to go ahead and turn the furnace on. Now that we have the furnace on and you see your status code light is lit over here and also your light is lit over here in the TechMate Pro, you can go ahead and turn this on and hopefully you'll hear this blower motor uh, turn on. Alright, so we've effectively checked the variable speed blower motor. We're going to now turn the power off. I'm going to switch these two connections. We're now going to turn the power back on again. I flip these two between common and power and now I'm going to turn this on and it's going to test the variable speed blower motor the same way. So that blower motor was just running. Now this is off. Let me show you how you can check this without the TechMate Pro. You can see that it says C and RX. So you need 24 volts on these two terminals in order for this blower motor to be powered. As well, you need your high voltage up top here. So make sure that you do not put 24 volts over in any of the other connections. It has to go in C and RX. So you can have the hot go in R and the common go in C. Or you can actually have the 24 volts go in the C and common go to the R. It does look like though that you should put the 24 volt hot in the R and uh, common in the C. So I would recommend just go ahead and doing that if possible. 
So what you do is you just follow these wires. So these two would connect right here. This is the wires that would be going to the blower motor. You see that right here is C, so that's green. And on this one, uh, 24 volt power, that is blue. So make sure that the power is off before you start pulling any of these connections. So not only at the door switch, but also on the main power of the furnace. You're gonna now strip some 18 gauge wire and you are going to put that into the back of the electrical connector. Make sure that you're never uh, putting any wires up in the front right here. Make sure that you're just putting these wires into the back of the electrical connection. So right there. And right here. Now we're set up, ready to go. We're putting 24 volts onto the blue wire. We're putting common on the green wire. In this case, you know, those colors can change depending on the manufacturer. But our goal is to put 24 volts on this RX and common onto the C, right onto this ECM 3.0 blower motor. Now we're gonna go ahead and turn the power on. Just turn the power on, you see the LED status code. And you hear the blower on. So now I just turned the blower off, so, so everything is working correctly. So as long as the variable speed blower motor turns on and it doesn't pulse up and down, up and down in its speed, then the variable speed blower motor is operating correctly. So this is how you can get away with not using a, a Gentech, a TechMate Pro for your diagnosis with the variable speed blower motor for 3.0 models only. If you're dealing with a ECM 2.3 model, then that one has a 16 pin connector and that one's a little bit more complicated. But if you, if you don't wanna do this, then, you, then I would suggest uh, picking up one of these. It makes the diagnosis very simple. So once again, do not go by the color of the wires. Make sure that you're tracing the wires from the ECM 3.0 blower motor back to the control board in order to tell which two wires you need to end up setting power to. As well, you could also do it just by the identification of the holes and what direction they are, but you just want to make sure that you're powering the correct wires because that could be a costly mistake uh, with one of these more expensive variable speed blower motors. And if you're looking for the tools and supplies used in this video, such as the TechMate Pro or the DL479 or DL469, I have them all linked down in the description below. And if you want to help support this HVACR training channel, check out patreon.com slash acservicetech where we're rewarding the members there by adding extra content, such as articles, videos, and answering questions. Hope you enjoyed yourself, and see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.